It has come to the time when the potatoes need to get harvested. First thing I have to do is take that cover off. So this first section is what the seed potatoes that were left over from last year. That's a seed potato. Kind of more than I thought. All of the seed potatoes were like that size or smaller.
about does it. Not bad. Sure help this one right there. Not bad for this little bed. Now it's just time to get the scale out. All right, we'll throw it on the scale. See how much weight we got. First, I got to turn the scale on. There's still a lot of dirt on them too, but I'm just going to let that dry inside and fall off. Can't wash them off. Ready? Here we go. So, probably can't see that very well. Let me grab the camera really quick and show you. So, those potatoes. 53 pounds, 9 ounces. So that's not a bad haul out of that little bed. What is it? About maybe 4 foot by 10 foot bed. 53 pounds. Not a bad haul at all. Kind of a nice mix of potatoes there. Um, just kind of the, the leftover seed potatoes that I collected and, and uh, sprouting potatoes that I brought home from work. So, I paid 89 cents a pound for the sprouting potatoes that I brought home from work and came up with uh, 50 pounds of potatoes. Now I probably had, I'm guessing, two, three pounds of uh, Seed potatoes came up with uh, 53 pounds of potatoes. Not a bad haul at all. And then probably just say 50 pounds of potatoes because that crate weighs a, a few pounds and there's a little bit of dirt on those potatoes. So still not a bad haul for a couple dollars worth of seed potatoes into 50 pounds of eaten potatoes. How far did they get today? <laughs> Keone does not like the neighbor's goats. At all. You're going the wrong direction, guys. <clears throat> hey, Kara. Get on this side of them, and let's try to head them back home. No, oh, Kara. Come on, go, chop, 
Come on. Nope. Come on. Go. Go. Keep going. Come on. You need to go home. I know you're just hungry, but... Are you going to chase us all the way home? How <laughs> do you like the little lambs? They are cute. So cute. Okay, come on. Keep going. You're so close. So close. Something tells me that's not your house. Oh shit! They went. Oh. We're not going to go home. We're the bad ones. It's for sale. Hmm? They, oh my god, they're hanging out down there. Everywhere they want. They're just free. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Where were they? So I was able to get a little bit more done today. I got another pile of wood out of the way. I still have two more piles of wood I gotta go through and, and get restacked and out of the way. And then I wanna clean up all of this stuff along the edge of the fence if time allows uh, this isn't as big of a priority uh, this is more of a priority just so it's easier to park and and get turned around and stuff and I kind of want to organize and go through this lumber as, as well and get it uh, stacked up a little bit better I've been picking through and moving and stuff so everything's a mess next year I don't want to have any lumber down here at all I want this to be garden area this little corner here turn into garden area so still got a lot left to go but slowly and surely I'm getting it done I gotta move those two buckets I'll still do that tonight uh, up onto this pallet this is my if you remember last spring I uh, picked up a whole Bunch of gravel out of parking lot at work. Still have that, and that is good for this winter. Wanted to have it near the front door so that uh, pretty easy to access. Keep uh, a path shoveled to it and everything. But, uh, I guess the big project for this afternoon, after you know doing the potatoes and chasing goats down the road, you know herding the neighbors. Well, sheep. Sorry, I always say goats and I don't know why, but herding the neighbor's sheep down, sheep down the road. Uh, but I was able to get my water tank moved from the center and I'll have to redo my, my uh, gutter system to collect the water at this end rather than in the middle. Uh, this is in preparation to get my greenhouse going though. Uh, getting it organized and Got the water tank moved right to the edge, got it set up. That was a quite a bit of a project just because uh, it doesn't drain all the way out. So it's still kind of heavy. 
still got a little bit of water in it and stuff. It doesn't drain 100% out, so. Uh, but I was able to get it moved. I can see through the mud, I got the tractor in here. Uh, that is what I love about this fence system that I have is I can take it apart, I can move it. It's, it's uh, semi-permanent. Uh, it's only permanent as long as I want it to be there and then I can move it away. So, but, uh, it works out really good for us. I really like it. It protects my garden, so. <clears throat> but that is kind of what I was up to this Saturday, uh, getting a little bit of stuff done. Uh, luckily, I haven't gotten snow yet, like some other people in Alaska. They've already got their snow started uh, luckily I haven't, but it's going to be here soon, so the more I get done this fall, the less I have to worry about in the spring. In the spring, I want to be able to worry about uh, getting my garden going again. I want to do a better job and a bigger job next year with my garden. We already have discussed a little bit of what we want to grow and what we want to do, but uh, first thing I have to do is grow more dirt. I need to learn how to grow more dirt. I don't uh, I don't generate enough dirt to uh, fill all of my beds. I just end up building one or two new beds every year and uh, using the dirt that I do build in those beds and not really being able to replenish all my other beds. So I've got to start getting that done. Eventually uh, we'll get there. We're doing good growing uh, You know, this is this is not we knew it wouldn't be one year Project even two years. We figure it's probably about a 10-year project to get the garden area the way we want it And hopefully I still have time to in this spot right here have a greenhouse next spring That is my hope We'll see if I can get her done. I don't know. It's getting pretty late. I'm falling behind. All these other projects keep popping up, but we'll see. So with this, with this fencing system, I just pull that pin up, and I can pretty much, because that one just slides out, pull that pin up, lift the whole panel up and out, and you can move it in... A matter of just a minute, I can have this panel and that panel moved and out of the way real quick and easy. It's such a nice system, such an easy system, and uh, for the most part, it keeps, well, it definitely 100% keeps the moose out of my garden. I haven't had any problems so far since I put this fence up. It was a little bit expensive and I keep adding more. I think I bought three sections this year. Uh, they were $119 a piece for the sections this year. Uh, when I bought them the first time, I believe I paid $79 a panel, maybe $89 a panel for them. So, yep, they're going up in price just like everything else. But you can add to it, start out small, and just add to it every year if you have money. Uh, I, I have stuff piled up here. Most of this stuff is piled up here. It was to uh, keep Keone from going into the uh, garden area and munching on my lettuce. And uh, she liked to pull the onions out of the ground. So that's, that's why you have, it looks like a bunch of junk, but it was just stuff that we set up against it to keep Keone out. And I do have plans to have wire put around the bottom uh, three. I'm gonna have wire up to this high around the whole thing this next year because my chickens hopefully will be uh, moving over to this side of the property uh, sometime next year. 
So I want to have that all, I want to have it all protected from the chickens and, uh, and the dog. But yeah, this worked for this year, but it does look terrible and I know it. I, I do have plans to make it look nice and uh, like more finished. It'll all work. That's what I was up to today. Uh, let's see what kind of trouble I can get up to tomorrow, huh? And one of my projects that I've been meaning to do for a few years is uh, figure out a spot where I might be able to grow some barley. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, but I want to give it a try. Just a small, you know, a small piece, a small, maybe even just a raised bed size piece, uh, just to see if I can do it. What do I have to lose? A little bit of seed, maybe a little bit of my time. Uh, I don't know, that might be an experiment next year, but man, I think I'm already pushing my luck with all of the stuff I have planned. Anyway, thank you for watching this edition of Not So Remote Alaska. And until next time, may God bless and keep each and every one of you. And with that, I am out. <laughs>